Okay, now we're going to talk about a major scale. The major scale is um, kind of like our number system. Uh, if we're dealing with mathematics, our number system is based on tens. Uh, a major scale is based on a whole, whole half, whole, whole half step. Now a whole step is two frets, and a half step is one fret. So if you look on the diagram, you'll see all the way up one string, I start on any note and I go up a whole step, another whole step, and a half step, whole, 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 half. And I'm exactly an octave higher than where I started. I start and end on the same note, one octave higher. This can also be played, instead of all the way up one string, across the neck of the guitar. Now if you're just beginning, you may want to just view this as information. Um, if you've been playing for a while or you're starting to feel comfortable with your finger exercises, you might want to attempt to play a major scale. And note, I've got a finger per fret, so I'm starting my major scale with my second finger. Second, fourth, then on the next string, first, second, fourth, on the next string, first, third, same on the next string, first, third, fourth, then second, fourth, first, second, second, first, fourth, second, four, three, one, four, three, one, four, one, I'm sorry, two, one, four. try that when you're ready, okay? Uh, it's a little bit of a finger twister because you're using different fingers on each string, but it's really good for you to play when you're at the point where you can handle that without it causing confusion. Now, if you look, I've drawn a picture of the major scale on the guitar, one string or across. I've also included a picture of a piano, so you can see the whole, whole, half, whole, whole, half formula that makes up uh, major scale. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or one. Um, and then instead of using dots, I use the number system. Root, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. The roots are the same notes. The twos, those are the same notes. So the number system is used um, if we were in Nashville in a recording studio and we wanted to chart out a song. Uh, we had singers coming in from all over the place to do different versions of this. We could have one chart by having a unified number system to where whatever key we're in, the root or the key is um, the one. And then the four chord, the five chord, whatever the chord progression is, um, it corresponds with, if I'm in the key of G, G would be my root, one, two, three, four, five, one, four, five. If I was in the key of A, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, one, two, four, five, one, four, five. The 1-4-5 progression is the most common chord progression in the world. It's what 12-bar blues are based on, and we're going to be addressing that earlier. So our major scale isn't just a finger exercise that's melodic. It's like our number system for mathematics. We need to have an understanding of a major scale because we're going to be using it. It helps to define not just our chord progression, but the individual chords. So. It's not something that if you're just starting, you have to really get this and totally understand it. I'm building a framework for you to uh, build on 
all right, with your understanding as we move forward. If you've been playing for a while, uh, maybe you, you knew this information, maybe you didn't. So it'll be patching in the holes for you. So uh, the major scale is something to be aware of. It's not just do do da 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 It's really got some meat to it. If you assign numbers to it, it's uh, what you're going to see people using uh, to communicate in a unified, simple way without having to um, reinvent the wheel every time they chart out a song. Uh, there is a simple process that's used called the number system. And the major scale is where we frame our conversation for um, music theory, for um, just basic communication on stage for musicians playing together. Um, you can take it on all levels, a very simple level or a very intense, deep level to where you know you can you know all your scales, you know all your modes, all that kind of thing. All right.